Poppets and welcome to another episode of Hayley's Help. For those of you that are new here, I am Hayley and I am going to be helping you all with your home making goodness. Today we are going to be focusing on the windows, so let's get going with my tips and tricks for window cleaning. Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing this window vlog today because I was asked a very good question on here and that was ding. we'll put it up there so you can see what I've been asked um, and it was basically how to how to clean the inside of the windows the actual kind of um you know when you open it there's that little groove there and that will get dirty um, from time to time so that does need cleaning and I'm going to be showing you the best ways to do that but I also thought just for an extra Haley's helpful bonus I'll do a whole window clean with you guys as well and show you different methods you can use different things that work well including my tea solution cup of tea for you all and your windows so the first thing that you're going to want to do when you're doing the actual inside of the window as in the kind of ledge bit is you're going to want to use the dust attachment on your vacuum to get rid of any dust and debris there will be stuff that falls in there get rid of it first with this and then we are going to move on to the best way to clean it and what solutions to use and what solutions not to use because let me tell you now the mistakes I have made during my homemaking trials and tribulations that's the word isn't it tribulations um my my slogan should be Haley's help I make the mistakes so you don't have to I have made so many mistakes when it comes to homemaking because I kind of was just a bit like throw it in the air and see where it lands and now I'm here to tell you, don't throw it in the air and see where it lands because it can have dire consequences. But we'll discuss that when we get to that point. <laughs> okay, now we have done the vacuuming inside the actual window. You have got an option here. It is like a hidden golden nugget if you are partial to cleaning your windows. There is something called Easy Clean. Now, this is installed in some kind of newer windows, so double glazed windows, they have a facility called an easy clean um, kind of latch if you like. And it's on the hinge and I'm going to show you in a second, I'll give you a little break now because I know you're all going to hop up and go, I'm going to go and see if I've got an easy clean window. <laughs> so feel free, go and look and see if you've got an easy clean window and we will all celebrate together if you have. If you haven't, I'll show you another way to do it so it's fine. But if you've got these easy clean latches, what you can do is click them down and it enables you to get to the outside window without actually hanging out the window and like potentially falling and breaking your neck. Never do that, safety first. If you have got the easy clean system installed within your windows, the way this works is you press down the bottom latch and there will also be a latch on the top of your window. You can then go ahead and slide the window across and that will create a nice, gap enough for you to just put your arm out so you're not talking like the whole body your arm can just go out and you can get to the outside windows thus saving you money on window cleaners okay guys the one and only thing you need to do the inside bits of your windows so the seal that goes around them is our trusted friend here on the Haley's Help channel WD 40. WD 40 is an absolute dream here because it cuts through any of the dirt, the grease and the grime. You want to do that part of your windows maybe every six months I'd say. You don't need to do it every single time you open the windows but every six months I'd say is reasonable. So the build up of dirt on my windows has actually been since I've moved in so you're looking at about a six month ish time frame and what you want to do is Clean it all with the WD-40. You are going to need some little things to get in the nooks and crannies, i.e. a cotton bud. You can use a toothbrush or a scrubby brush, whatever you've got that can get into all the little grooves. Grab yourself those and literally just spray the whole area up with the WD-40. For those of you that it's particularly dirty, leave it to soak in for a couple of minutes and then go ahead and once you've scrubbed away with your toothbrush or your scrubbing brush, you can go ahead and start wiping it down with a clean microfiber cloth. 
Um, and then you can use the cotton buds last to get all the kind of debris out that go in the little cracks. The way I found WD-40 was by trial and error. I used to get a huge great big bowl of bleach in hot water, because we all know I love bleach, and I would saturate the whole of the inside, scrubbing away, oh look, it's all bleached down, oh yeah, lovely. What actually ended up happening is the hinges within the window ended up orange and rusty and it was just a hot mess so avoid using any kind of water and stuff within those bits and if you do just make sure that you completely dry the metal bits because they will get rusty that is why i love using the wd-40 because it does not do that now we have tackled the inside ledge of the windows we are going to be tackling the windows themselves now before you embark on any sort of window cleaning there are so many different things you can choose from but before you do anything you are always going to need to get yourself some soapy water and a clean cloth and actually wash the window down this includes the um, white part the upvc all of that needs to be cleaned down the reason for this is the windows will have dirt on them and if you just go ahead and start spraying them all you're doing is just rubbing the dirt in and you're not going to get a streak free shine that's what we're going for here we want a streak free shine so wash them down with some soapy hot soapy water just like fairy liquid washing up liquid whatever you're using is absolutely sufficient enough here and just give them a real good clean before you move on to the next stage the next stage after you have washed down your windows is the product itself so there are a few options here i'm going to talk you through them you can use just a regular window and glass cleaner this one is from Ocado. this is particularly good you can also use my favorite which is my homemade tea solution this is that here it is literally just plain black tea boiled in boiling water let it cool down tip it into an empty spray bottle it's that simple or you can use um these gadgets so obviously if you've got a window cleaner you can go ahead and use these um that this can be used with the soapy water so once you've washed it all down you can then go ahead and use this on it or you can go ahead and spray some glass tea clip cleaner or the tea on it and use this to get it off it's entirely up to you but i will show you the different stages now cleaning windows the first one is invest in a good cloth a particular favorite of mine is the marigold crystal clear cloth it has that paper towel type feel to it but the good thing about this is it is washable on a 60 degree wash you can wash it up to 60 degrees and it's reusable paper towels you're just constantly going through them so invest in a good cloth particularly for glass and windows. My second tip is when you are washing windows, pick a dry, cloudy day. Now, once again, I make the mistake so you don't have to. I always thought 
Let's clean the windows when the sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and I can get the streaks away. No, you can't. Because what happens is the sun ends up drying the product onto the window and you just end up with streaks. And the only way to get rid of these is to keep going over them and making it wet again. It is just annoying. So try and pick a day when it's, um, you know, dry, but also cloudy. So you don't have a boiling hot sun beating onto your windows because your hard work will be destroyed my third and final hip for when it comes to cleaning windows is if you are struggling to get rid of any of the smears a really good way to deal with this is pick a side and pick a stroke like you're a swimmer so on what i mean by this is on the inside let's say you're going to go horizontally on the outside clean them vertically that way when you look you can see where the streaks are, whether they're horizontal or vertical, thus letting you know what side of the window those pesky little streaks are on, and then you can make them disappear. Thanks for watching this vlog, guys. I hope you have found this window cleaning tutorial helpful. If you have, give it a like, and don't forget to share it with your friends who might find it useful too. I will see you all again next time right here on the Haley's Help channel. Click the subscribe button so you don't miss out because I've got some more homemaking hacks coming up next week. Bye, guys.